Hey friends, welcome to letting go of I am. Anything that poses a burden, anything that poses an anchor, anything that ties you to something is a form of bondage, is a form of not being free. It's a form of tying yourself to something that you're absolutely not. Because you can ultimately tie yourself to what you are. You can only tie yourself, you can only keep yourself limited to things that are not what you actually are. So let's explore if the sense of I am, if presence energy is actually what we are, or if we can let go of it. And if we can let go of it, then we've discovered an even greater freedom than to tie our sense of awareness, our sense of self to the sense of I am presence. So can you recognize that presence energy is an object? Can you imagine presence energy itself as an object appearing in front of, to, or inside of the absolute ultimate subject, which is awareness itself, or you, I, the I, the absolute ultimate I. So that ultimate I, awareness, that ultimate free agent, is the ultimate subject. In fact, it is the only subject because there's nothing other than this awareness to be aware. It's not that there is, in that sense, a second awareness. Yes, there is multiplication. Yes, there is individuation, and therefore seeming separation between individuals, between individual expressions of this overall I awareness. Nevertheless, all of these consciousnesses, all of these I am's in that sense, derive their power from the most fundamental ultimate free agent itself, that ultimate subject itself, which is awareness. So awareness in that sense is the only subject Every experience that has ever been experienced has been experienced by and through the power of pure awareness only. Now, it may have been in a distorted form. It may have been in the form of I am presence. It may have been in the form of I am a person inside of a world, that type of consciousness. However, that which was conscious of that experience, the quality of consciousness itself, is derived from pure awareness. It is the I that sees everything. Ironically, the I is also the I. Hence, we can view or understand awareness to be the ultimate subject, the only subject, the only witness, the only perceiver, the only perceiving power in all of existence is I, awareness. The only object in existence is presence energy. We have already discovered this in the previous course. There is no other substance for any object to be created out of. Therefore, any object that you perceive is perceived by the ultimate and only subject, awareness, and created out of or made out of or consists of the only and ultimate object of creation itself, which is creation itself, or presence energy. So can you become aware of presence energy in a very broad and general sort of universal level? So imagine that all objects actually are derived from presence energy. Recognize that this moment consists only, all the objects, all the appearances, all the perceptions in this moment consists of presence energy, of the sense of I am. Now all, jumble that all together in a sense, combine all things, all that is together, just as an imagination. Doesn't mean you actually have to or can in that sense be aware of everything that is at the same time. But imagine everything that is all that is, as the great, profound, essential presence energy I am of the universe, of creation itself. 
in the substratum of all that is. And now imagine that as the ultimate and only object in, of, and as creation. And notice that you as I, you as the ultimate awareness, the ultimate subject, are actually a witness of this only an ultimate object, presence. You are aware of presence. In order to discover more profoundly the sense I, I, that I existence rather than the I am presence, it's very helpful to notice that I am presence is actually an object, an appearance, appearing to or inside of pure awareness. So again, bring into focus the sense I am as the universal substance of creation. And notice that there is an awareness of that. That in fact, you are the awareness that is aware of the ultimate object that is presence energy. Otherwise, you could not report on it. Otherwise, you didn't even know about presence energy. Otherwise, you could not be aware of the sense, I exist, or I am, or I am here. So see presence as an object because this will help you shift into the I awareness. Now, once you've seen presence energy to be this universal, singular object of creation itself, the presence energy the substratum of all that is, you can now see if you can let go of it. And this is where things get interesting. This is where we discover our freedom. This is where the sense of I, I, or awareness being aware of awareness, or awareness being aware of simply being aware, becomes detached from its association with the I am presence energy principle, concept, feeling, energy state. So as you notice that presence energy is an appearance appearing inside of or in front of your awareness, let go of that sense. Feel it, feel the I am. And if you can feel it, that means you can also not feel it. Because if you could not not feel it, you couldn't also feel it. Bit of a tricky thought, but it's another pointer, it's another entrance way into discovering that more expansive explosion into awareness. Because you see, I am presence is still a focused state of consciousness. It still is consciousness, which means awareness in a subject object type of relationship. However, awareness by itself is simply pure subjectivity. It is simply self experiencing not other experiencing, not even I am experiencing per se. It can be allowed to be there, it can be allowed to be present, but it's not ultimately required, which is very liberating. To know that you are not ultimately tied to even the I am that forms the substance of all that is. To know that even from that, you can gain your freedom. You can realize that your awareness, that which you are, is more timeless is more spaceless, is more energyless than presence energy, than the feeling of I am, the dense, substantial, foundational feeling of I am, I am present. So see it as an appearance, see it as an object, and realize your freedom from the object, which simply means that you notice you can also not focus on it. You can focus on I am, the feeling of I am, and then you can, without losing consciousness, without going back into complete ignorance, without even identifying with I am a person inside of a world consciousness, there is a third level of consciousness. So now you've gone from I am this person inside of this world, person world consciousness, to presence consciousness, or I am. And now from I am, even though you're letting go of the I am, you're not falling back into I am this. 
you're simply taking it one step further. You're maintaining the awareness that was there present of the person, present of presence, present to presence, aware of presence. And now simply aware of itself as remaining aware. But it softens the focus on presence. It lets go of the necessity to focus on presence. Another way to explore your freedom from the I am is to actually intentionally ignore the feeling of I am. So you ignore the sense of presence. You can notice it, but then ignore it. Just turn the other way. Turn your other cheek. Look the other way. Ignore the sense I am. Practice this for a little bit, back and forth. You can pause this recording if you want to. And just for a few minutes, notice presence and then ignore that feeling without losing necessarily your sense of clarity and awareness. So you maintain the sense that you are aware, but you use that awareness to ignore or move away from, shift attention away from, the idea or sense of presence energy. When you've tried this a couple of times, you can also liken it onto the following exercise. Hold your hand in front of your face, but maybe not completely in front of your face, just like halfway there, so that you can also look past it. So now focus on your hand, and your hand now represents presence energy, represents the feeling of I am. It's very present, it's dense, it's an object, it's observable. Awareness is not observable in quite the same way that presence energy as a sense, as a feeling can be observable. Awareness is what's doing the observation. It's, what doing, it's what's doing the seeing. Therefore, notice presence energy, notice your hand. And then even though your hand remains where it is, because it's available, it has its utilities, it has, has its usefulness. But now you choose to ignore it and to simply shift your attention into the space or the sky behind it. It might be ideal if you actually practice this outside or in front of a big window so that you can see the sky, the skyline or space if it's at night. Hold your hand close to your face, then focus on the sense of the presence of the hand and then relax that focus and become absorbed in the sky, sky-like awareness. This is an analogy, but it's almost a, exact same feeling. That shift feels almost exactly the same as going from a dense object that it is focused upon right here to relaxing all focus and letting that way faster, more spacious, more sky-like state of existence. Capture your heart and attention. And then go back to the hand. Oh, it's very present. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's energy. It's potent, it's powerful, it's present, but it requires some degree of focus, some degree of paying attention to an object, whereas what I truly am is completely relaxed awareness. Hand is still within my field of vision. It's still available if I choose to focus on it, but now I realize I don't have to focus on it if I don't feel like focusing on it. You see, because there's many mindfulness type of teachings that many of you are familiar with, I'm sure, that would have us focus on the present moment, on presence all the time. But presence or the present moment or presence energy has the tendency to lock us into a very physical based sense of here and now. We still have a sense of space and location and time. When we let go of that focus, when we snap out of that focused I am consciousness mode, and we simply notice the vastness of subjectivity itself, the vastness of awareness itself, suddenly notice, even if it's only for two to five seconds where you break the spell of the focus on the I am, you notice that in that sky-like spacious sense 
of existing yet without the sense I am present, but simply I exist as awareness. I as awareness. Notice how the sense of location, space, time, the world, and even the presence that makes up the world and the space and the time and the location. For that moment, they're not capturing your consciousness, your attention, your awareness. Your awareness is not, in a sense, caught up or occupied with these items, with these objects, with presence energy in its different forms. And therefore, it feels extremely free, spacious, timeless, beyond time, beyond space, beyond location, beyond the world. There's no sense of a world in that moment, even if, again, for just two to five seconds of absolute relaxation of all focus back into the natural state of effortless awareness. And to rest as that, to rest in that, only for two to five seconds, is enlightenment, is self-realization of the unmanifest, pure subject, the ultimate free agent that is awareness itself. And when you notice this, notice how the world disappears. The more often throughout everyday life you relax for two to five seconds, and now you truly know the meaning of two to five second relaxation into your truly effortless state of simply being self-aware without the need to be focused on I am or any feeling whatsoever per se. You can give yourself permission to simply ease in and out of the focus of presence and awareness, presence and awareness, presence and awareness. Sometimes you'd love to be completely present in your reality and be vibrantly, alertly awake to what's happening here and now, really present to the presence energy that makes up all the forms of your reality in that moment. Perfect, gorgeous, beautiful, empowering, usable, enlightening, helpful for others too. And at the same time, you can give yourself permission to start to enjoy spacious, space-like, free, timeless awareness even more. And so you stop beating yourself up about having to be present, having to be mindful, having to be here and now. And you can simply relax without necessarily letting go of the sense of existing or awareness. But it's no longer filtered through the sense of I am. When you give yourself this permission, you will find you will relax even more. Your body will start to relax, your mind will start to relax, and you will start to feel even freer than you did having realized the pervasive sense of presence energy. So for the homework for this lesson, I would like you to read, listen, and or watch this lesson at least twice before your next lesson. Meditate on some of the ideas or sentences that stood out to you from this session. So if there was any particular sentence that I spoke during this video, and you can note them down during your replay of them, at least twice, at least two replays, notice down, uh, note down the sentences or the pointers that in particular had some kind of experiential glimpse, shift, or effect on you. And just sit with these for about four or five minutes. Just see what happens. When you sit in a meditative setting, just contemplating or repeating that particular pointer or way of seeing life. And enjoy the effects of that. And three, write down a few paragraphs of the things you notice when you let go of the I am and rest more relaxed in a more relaxed fashion into the I, I. What do you notice in that shifting moment? What do you notice about the differences of these? So in a few paragraphs, simply write down your particular personal realizations and highlights. And very important, remember to actually give yourself permission to enjoy awareness. Because many people don't actually give themselves permission to enjoy their realizations. But you will notice, so this is the fourth part of this homework, is to remind yourself 
that when you're relaxing out of the focus of I am into the pure subjectivity of I, I, of I awareness, resting as the pure unconditional self, capital S, unmanifest, unfindable, simply awareness itself. Notice how enjoyable it is that you can effortlessly be aware. In fact, that awareness is already being effortlessly aware of every moment. And also it can shift out of every moment and simply notice its own pristine, magical, free, spacious, expansive nature. Give yourself permission to relax and enjoy into what you truly are. Welcome to enlightenment. Effortless, easeful, enjoyable. Thank you.